Police fired stun grenades and tear gas to disperse stone-throwing youths on the outskirts of Parkwood, adjacent to the M5 highway. It is one of a number of areas where pockets of protesters gathered to shut down the city. At other intersections, protesters held demonstrations since early this morning, bemoaning what they call the plight of coloured people in Cape Town, unemployment and housing among the burning issues. We are not getting a fair or equal chance in everything we do, housing, employment. We are the people that is doing all the work, but we are the people that always has to get the second class treatment, especially in the Western Cape in the city. They don't care about us. Our people are dying like flies, but nobody cares about us. There's never been so much law enforcement and police in, in, in the Mitchell's plane as in today, and we're having a peaceful protest here. In Heidefeld, protesters also took their message to the streets in a placard demonstration. Their plans to set rubble alight on the roadway thwarted at this time. Jobs, decent housing and opportunities among the demands. We are tired of living in backyards. We are tired of seeing our kids standing on corners becoming drug addicts, our girls prostituting themselves for money, are the Sasa line getting longer and longer every day. Various roads were temporarily closed after tires and rubble were set alight. In Mamre, a group of about 200 protesters bent tires on Silverstrom Road and pelted police with stones. Police responded and six persons were apprehended. A police official was injured in the face during the commotion. The protest comes amid ongoing tensions over housing and land in the city. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.